Welcome to the high team. We are going to discuss some tips about double lumen tube. Okay, so we're talking about uh, single lung ventilation, which there's the various uh, clinical indications for why you would want to selectively ventilate one lung or another. Um, and we're going to talk about the mechanisms that were the instruments that we use to facilitate single lung ventilation. So double lung tubes are probably the ones that are discussed the most, so we'll talk about them first. They come in two formats. There's a left-sided double lung tube and a right-sided double lung tube. My left and my right. Uh, they happen to have two lumens, which is why they're called double lumen tube. So you can uh, selectively ventilate one lumen or the other. And uh, the left double lumen tube is named as such because it sits in the left main stem bronchus. So if you look at the tip of the uh, left double lumen tube, you see here there's a bronchial cuff and a tip to the end of the endotracheal tube which sits in the bronchus. Then the tracheal lumen is more proximal and you can clamp one side or the other and ventilate the tracheal lumen which will ventilate the right side or the bronchial lumen which will ventilate the left side. Contrast that to the right side of double lumen tube, you see the configuration at the top is identical. However, the curve is such that it goes to the right side and this sits on the right side. One of the issues with Right-sided uh, isolation, however, is that the upper lobe takes off in a position that's very close to the carina. So the way in which we deal with that is we actually put a hole right here, if you can see, on the tip of this endotracheal tube. That's called a Murphy eye. And this tube is positioned such that we can ventilate the right upper lobe in addition to the right middle and right lower lobe. So this tube is actually more difficult to position than the left side of double lumen tube. Many people will put a left side of double lumen tube in blindly and may or may not confirm it with bronchoscopy. A right side of double lumen tube, you can't get away with that. So, th so the alternative to double lumen tubes, as we said, is bronchial blockers. Now bronchial blockers come in various configurations. They come in this configuration, if you'll hold that for me, uh, which is one single piece with a balloon at the end of it. This is a lot like a Fogarty catheter. Uh, and the idea is that you stick this in whatever bronchus you want to not ventilate, inflate the balloon, and then you exclude that lung from ventilation. You notice that this has a little steering mechanism at the top. The reason for that is, is these can be very difficult to get into the particular bronchus that you want. And so they come in all sorts of configurations where you steer with a knob or you steer with a little tension device or you use a bronchoscope and you steer and there's a lot of different ways to selectively intubate with a with a bronchial blocker. Yes. Compare and contrast that to a uh, easy blocker, which is also a type of bronchial blocker. You'll see here it has a configuration that it sits on the carina, straddles the carina, and you have balloons in either bronchus. The benefit of this is you just insert it through a single lumen tube. In theory, it should straddle the carina on its own, although it's not usually how it works. It takes a little bit of playing with. And then you can selectively inflate the balloon based on the color to isolate whatever lung you choose to isolate. And this is called an easy blocker. And so it's basically two bronchial blockers in one and you get to choose which one you use. 